you're finally ready to use a real scroll view. Similar to a container view or a stack view, a scroll view is a container for content. You add a scroll view to the view hierarchy, like you would with any other view, and then fill it up with subviews. The main purpose of a scroll view is to add more content than what can fit on screen at one time. Table views and collection views are some examples you already know. Scroll views are also great for viewing large images that you want to scroll around in both directions, a horizontal slider of icons, or a tall view filled with options. Scroll views are an interesting case when considering how their size is determined. Like other types of views, they have a size. But they also have a content size. The size of a scroll view describes how much screen real estate it takes up. The content size, however, describes the size of the scroll view's subviews. You can also think of this as the scrollable area. If that content size is larger than the scroll view size, then you're able to scroll. There are a few ways to get that content size. If you correctly set up auto layout constraints, it'll be set for you. You can also manually set the content size, and we'll do just that in the upcoming demo. The app we're going to work on in this video will allow you to scroll around an image that's much larger than the screen. In our case, we'll use the image view size as the content size. If the image size is larger than the scroll view, we'll be able to scroll. To get you started, we put together a mostly empty starter project. There's an image here from a zombie run that Ray did some years ago. It's a pretty large image, too large to display the whole thing on an iPhone screen at full size. We're going to use a scroll view to let us scroll around and see the entire image. To start, open main.storyboard, open up the object library, and drag a scroll view onto the view controller. Drag the edges of the scroll view out so it fills the entire screen. Then with the scroll view still selected, head to the size inspector and set up auto resizing so that it will stretch to fill up the screen and be pinned to all four sides. Now we need an image view to hold the picture of Zombie Ray. Drag an image view from your object library right on top of the scroll view. Make sure it's a subview and not a sibling of the scroll view. Then, just like you did with the scroll view, drag the edges of the image view out to fill up the entire screen. Then in the Attributes Inspector, set the Zombies image, and for the Content Mode, you want the image to be in the top left. At this point, you probably noticed we haven't constrained anything with Auto Layout, and you can see over here we have some layout errors. For the next few videos, we're not going to be using Auto Layout. It adds some complexity that we'll tackle later in this part. So for now, we'll live dangerously and disable it. Select the View Controller and go to the File Inspector. Then uncheck Use Auto Layout. Xcode will ask if we really actually want to disable Auto Layout in size classes, and for now, yes, we do. You can try to build and run now, but you won't be able to scroll yet. That's because the content size of the scroll view is the size of the device as opposed to the size of the image. You can only scroll when the content size is larger than the actual scroll view. In the future, Auto Layout will provide the content size for you, but there are a few alternative ways to resolve this. One way is to pass in the size by way of an attribute. Select the scroll view and then the Identity Inspector. In the User Defined Runtime Attributes, press the plus key to add a new key. The key name is Content Size. The type is size, and the value is 2592, 1936. Now, build and run. And we've got scrolling. If you want the content of your scroll view to start all the way at the top of the view controller and underneath the status bar here, you can set that in Interface Builder. Select the scroll view, and in the Size Inspector under Content Insets, change Adjustment to Never. Build and run one more time to see that scrolling image take up the entire screen. What we've done here is pretty inflexible. The content size is hard-coded in Interface Builder, so if we were to change the image, the content size would stay the same. There are ways to programmatically set the content size, and that's the topic of your upcoming challenge.